No matter how often we are faced with death, we never know what to say to those left behind. I'm so sorry for your loss. Seems so inadequate and yet it conveys everything that it needs to. There really aren't any other words to say what we need to say. It really does take boldness, bravery and sensitivity to utter those words to someone because you don't know how you or they are going to react and it's a risk you need to take. Please don't judge. You said what you needed to say out of love, respect and care. When we're grieving, and I know having walked through the valley of the shadow of death for just over three years now, we feel different things in different moments. Someone might be having a good day or a bad day when you see them. How can you tell? You can't, so you have to just take that leap. I can tell you from my experience after my husband's death that there were days when I could have a very coherent and calm conversation with a well-wisher who came to express their condolences. And on another day, I actually fell fast asleep sitting upright in a chair in the middle of a conversation with a visitor. On another occasion, someone walked up to me in the shops, said nothing and just embraced me. And I collapsed into her arms, sobbing to the point of not being able to breathe. She had no idea that would happen, but neither did I. She almost had to carry me to my car, but that all fall down was just what I needed and probably what she needed too. And it remains one of those bonding moments between us to this day. We have no better way to convey our respect and communion with those left behind other than to say the words, I'm so sorry for your loss and deal with whatever that unleashes both for us and for them. One tip though, please try not to dump your own experiences and advice on them at this time. Leave that for later. Give them the space to say and do what they need to do. It's overwhelming enough for them to deal with their own stuff, let alone your issues. By all means, share your shock and your sadness, but don't start with the when this happened to me story. They will ask if they're interested and need your advice due to your experience. I hope that this message is going to be useful to you in a time of loss. Please subscribe to my channel if this video has added value to you. And if you'd like to get onto my mailing list, click on the link in the description below.